He's the elder and spokesperson of the Wadawurrung people of the Kulin Nation and um, he's going to welcome you to country today. Would you please welcome Uncle Brian Powell. Thank you. Your worry in Narikara. What do I have to you know? For those of you that aren't multilingual, that don't speak Wadaran, I just say hi, how are you? My name's Brian, and this is Wadaran Country. And you are welcome. You are here under our protection. We used to feed you and look after you. But now there's too bloody many of you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bindi Cole. I've got three um, artworks in the Victorian Indigenous Art Awards this year. Um, one of the works that I particularly love is called Lacora, which is a large scale photograph of um, a cloudscape. Lacora means sky in Wadawurrung, and the inspiration behind the work is about making us as, as people who live in, in really densely populated areas feel a sense of insignificance or feel like there's something greater than just us. Um, the other good thing about that work is that it's currently on a tram in the city um, which runs every day and is running for the next six months. It's part of a, a giant fantasy cloudscape that I created covering the entire tram and I'm so excited about that. I haven't been on it yet but I'm going to bake some scones and take some girlfriends and we're going to jump on it and have tea. It's going to be lovely. <laughs> well, my name's John Dogan. I'm, I'm a, a Gamilaroi man from northwest New South Wales where my mother was born and bred. The work in the Indigenous Art Awards is called Tools of the Trade Hunter and it's a contemporary comparison on the modern day tradesman and the traditional trade craft which is hunting. So within the toolbox you'll find all the uh, necessary implements uh, that you will need to successfully spear, skin and butcher animals. Um, and also have some sinew and resin for the uh, repairing of spears uh, and, and stone hatchets. Um, all the implements that are within the toolbox have been traditionally made by either percussion flaking or pressure flaking. It's just good to be able to reproduce tools and traditional techniques and, and to, to maintain that knowledge that has been accumulated over 50,000 years you know, um, and still used. So that's what I'm trying to do. My name is Georgia Maguire. Uh, my work that was selected in the Victorian Indigenous Art Award is called Ill-Fitted Young. This, it's a sculpture which comprises the body cast of a young woman's body, a young Aboriginal woman, um, and she's dressed uh, by a layer of paper bark. The work itself evolved out of an, an acknowledgement that the women who came before me had been impacted on by the stolen generation process um, through loss of access to traditional craft. And it, you know, it, it also reflects this idea about Aboriginal identity and that idea of, of wearing your identity on your body and, and particularly, I suppose, in Australian contemporary society. My name's Ray Thomas. I'm a Gunnoy artist um, based in Melbourne and I'm here at the Victorian Indigenous Art Awards for 2013 and I have uh, been successful with my entry and I've, I've just won the major art prize. The, the work is a, is a portrait, what I've done of my mother. She's 94 at, at present. She's probably the oldest living Gunai person out of Gippsland, if not uh, for the state. You can see in the painting there, I've got the, the uh, keyboards on, on the right hand side, and uh, because she's a self-taught penis. And just in front of her feet there to her left is a, is a, is a traditional woven basket. And it's full of fruit and veggies because that relates to her childhood with her grandparents who uh, had a small farmlet at Lakes Entrance. The possum cloak is, is uh, I borrowed from the Bunjalaka Museum 
and it's it's uh, by an artist, um, Vicky Cousins, and she's a Kirei Wurrung um, artist, and it's appropriate too for Mum because of Mum's grandmother, she came from Framingham Aboriginal Mission, and so that relates to her Kirei Wurrung um, line. The, the cup of tea there, that's, that goes 24-7 at home, she can't be without a cup of tea. And the, the little bird sitting on the arm of the chair is, is, is Mum's totem. It's, it's from Gippsland. It's a, it's a Gunai women's totem and it's a, a Jeep gun is, is the name. And it's the female totem for, for all women throughout Gippsland of, of Gunai um, heritage.